In this video, I'm going to show you how to extract audio from video files using iOS. This is the third video that I've actually had to produce on the topic, as it seems that each time Apple release an update to iOS, they change the process for creating this audio file. So in this particular video, I'm gonna show you how to do it on iOS 16. If you have previous versions of iOS, check the links below and I've left some links to both the iOS 15 and iOS 14 version of how to do this exact same thing. But if you do have this latest update to iOS 16, keep watching and I'll show you how to extract audio from video files on your iPhone. Let's get started. The first part of the process involves the Shortcuts app, which comes pre-installed on your phone. If you've never used this before, swipe down from the top of the screen or use the new search field on the bottom of the home screen and type in the word shortcuts. Tap on the icon and you'll arrive at the home screen of the shortcuts app, which will have some tiles of pre-existing shortcuts. We're going to go ahead and create a new shortcut by tapping on the plus button icon on the top right hand corner of the screen. If you tap on the title, a drop down list appears. You can change the name of your shortcut and you can even assign it with an icon. So I'm going to go ahead and change it from new shortcut to audio extract iOS 16 by tapping on the rename option. And then I'll tap on the choose icon option and change the color of the shortcut to blue. And I'll use the search field to find a speaker icon. Great, now we can move ahead and get on with the extraction setup. Before we do anything else, we need to tell the shortcut how it can be applied. Tap on the information icon at the base of the screen and in the details tab, you have a number of options which determine how you're going to trigger the audio conversion on the individual files. The best one for this task is show in share sheet. So tap on the toggle button next to it so that it's highlighted in green. Next, we're going to tap on the add action button. We wanna take advantage of one of the many media conversions available in iOS 16. So to find them, tap on media, scroll down to the video section, which is nearly at the bottom of the long list of options, and then tap on encode media. You'll see that we now have a second white tile that's joined by a thin line coming from above. If that's the case, then you're on track so far. Now tap on the small drop down arrow next to the shortcut input text and tap on the audio only toggle so that it is highlighted in green. Tap on the format section and select between M4A and AIFF. M4A are high quality audio files with advanced compression that tend to deliver a smaller file size. These are compatible with most modern software applications, especially on Mac OS X or iOS. AIFF is an uncompressed audio file format, which provides studio grade recording and playback. So this is ideal if you're taking the file into a pro video editor or need to share it with other creatives on a collaborative project. So depending on what you wanna use it for, select either the MP4 or AIFF option. For this example, I'm gonna use M4A. If you like, you can even adjust the speed and change it from normal speed to 0.5, two times, or even the custom option. You can enter metadata as well. However, for most purposes, you don't really need to be doing this at all. Just before we get onto the next step, if you're after an MP3 file, there's no option to do that here. The only thing that I can recommend is that once you produce your audio file, you can then open it up on a dedicated audio app that provides conversion from MP4 audio or AIFF to MP3. There are a few apps that do this, and I'll leave a link to my video of the top five audio apps for iOS in the description box below if you're interested in doing it. Moving along, we're now going to add a set name action. You might find this in the next action suggestion section towards the base of the screen. If you can't find it there, go into the search field and type in the words set name. Tap on it and add it to the workflow. This is the next step in the process and it allows us to name the file after the conversion is made. I'm going to name the file auto conversion 
And this will help us later on when we go to look for our converted files in the files app. Finally, we want to add a save command to save our converted file to a specific location. In the search field, type in save, or if you see it appear in one of the next action suggestions at the base of the screen, tap on save file, tap on the drop down arrow next to renamed item, and make sure that the green toggle switch is highlighted next to ask where to save. And the last thing to check is that you have a thin vertical line that appears between each of the sheets that were created in this shortcut. So make sure that you do see that line. If at any point the line does not appear, this could present problems with the next step. So just go back, retrace the steps and make sure you have selected the correct actions that I've demonstrated in this video and everything should work out fine. And that's it. That's all we need to do to create the actual conversion functionality. Tap on done and you should see your new shortcut tile appear on the shortcuts homepage. So now that we've done all that, how do we actually use it? Well, we'll head over to the photos app and locate the video file, then tap in it and tap on the share icon at the bottom of the screen. Scroll down and you should see your new extract audio shortcut in the share sheet. Tap on it and wait for the extraction to occur. The files app will open up and you can tap on the browse folder to save it to either your iCloud drive or directly onto your iPhone. For this example, I'll select on my phone and then on the audio folder, which I created previously in the files app, then I'll tap on done. Now to find the file, I'll close down the photos app and type files in the search field. I'll then navigate to the on my phone folder, then audio, tap on the audio file, tap to play and listen back to the extracted audio. That sounds perfect to me. Now I can tap on the share icon on the bottom left hand corner of the screen to share it across to other devices, apps or contacts on my phone. For more tips and tutorials on how to use your iPhone, along with many videos related to digital creativity, new product reviews, and all things tech, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one. Bye for now.